Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Today, I'm going to react to 10 Reasons Why We Love the Royal Rumble. This is by, uh, I believe, uh, Wrestle Lamia, Wrestle Zone. One of these goddamn wrestling channels. It's one of these damn wrestling channels. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's so many of them. I can't. I can't keep up with the names. All of them. What culture? WrestleMania. Wrestle Zone. Wrestle. Wrestle Fed. It's so many of them, bro. I can't keep up with them. Shout out to my boy BDWJ though. <laughs> wrestling flashback. That's the name. Time of the year, and it all starts with the Royal Rumble. It's arguably wrestling's most iconic stipulation. Every ninety seconds, it's essentially a new match, and you never know who could come through the curtain. The the great a. Hey. Hey, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest. The greatest. <laughs> Royal Rumble I have ever experienced. This is the greatest Royal Rumble I ever experienced, bro. Because nobody was expecting John Cena to come back, especially with that damn pictorial, uh, that bicep injury. This nigga had a bicep injury, was only out for four months. How the fuck you come back that quick, bro? Ain't no telling what the fuck. Ain't no telling. You, you know John on them roids. But anyways, that's that's neither here nor there. He's still the GOAT. No matter how we look at it, he's still the GOAT. We, 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 but we know he was on the roids. Ain't no way you come back. Four months from your a uh, torn, completely off the bone bicep injury, and you come back like that, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 fucking way, but I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Still one of the greatest moments of my youth, my childhood. For <laughs> sure, is the winner goes down in history. I was so mad with Edge won. I was like, why the fuck the Edge win? The very best of the Rumble. We'll break down what it means, why it's popular, and why we just can't get enough. She's out of it. Oh, my God. oh yes. <laughs> so you can expect excitement, Ooh. action, drama, fun, and surprises. Yep, uh, Maven. Today, ten reasons why oh, we damn. The Royal Rumble. Each Royal Rumble has an overarching story within it, and oftentimes there's multiple stories being told at once. One of the most famous is the participant who drew numbers one or two, and the uphill battle to outlast 29 others from the starting position. Numerous wrestlers have been the Iron Man of the Rumble, staying in it from start to end, with a select few going the distance and emerging victorious. He saw that he was number two. The 1999 event told the Iron Man story in a unique way, with entrance 1 and 2 making it to the end, but each doing so in very different ways. Vince's goons tried to take out Austin while McMahon himself spent most of the match at the announce table. Although it didn't work out for Eddie, he still managed to create one of the great Royal Rumble moments. Girl! Woo! I cannot believe it! Girl stole my number! Happy about that number player? In 1998, <laughs> Foley tried to go the distance by entering the match three times. R.P. to Eddie. R.P. to Eddie Guerrero. Wait, wait Came out of his dude love. The story oh my god. Is that of the wrestler who completely dominates. Someone who cleans house throughout the match and is often stood alone in the ring awaiting the next entry. Eliminating droves of competitors in the process. The perfect platform to set up matches for WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, that was a good ass WrestleMania match, though. Goodbye, Goldberg. Get the fuck out of here. All it takes is for two icons to square off, and the crowd reaction does the rest. In wrestling, anything can happen, because you just never know. And nothing illustrates this more than the Royal Rumble match, featuring heart-stopping returns that keep us on the edge of our seats. From icons of the past... Yeah, oh, <laughs> ...to stars of the present day. 
That was a great. That was a great moment. The list of potential uh, I thought they was doing one when he first came back, not and can still one. go is right. fair game. Yeah, y'all know the one I was talking about. Look at that Despite being WWE, time for it on the whole train. Mark, the Rumble keeps us hooked every step of the way. Still the greatest WrestleMania I've ever seen. I've ever experienced. It's hard bro. to contain our excitement if a returning legend enters. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Well, got a lot cooler around here. Yeah. Being cool. Or when a current star comes back from injury. You think you know me? Yep, this the one right here. When he first came back, as the buzzer that shit was shocking. Breath for that Even though y'all spoiled it, then we hear it play and let out a collective roar in unison. Assholes, that's why I stay off Facebook now. I stay off Facebook for good now. Val Venus. <laughs> oh my God, Val Venus. Rob Van Dam. Big foe. <laughs> Few, if any, other matches can match this level of constant suspense and excitement. This is so much fun. The WWE's roster is ever changing. Each year, people come and go. This makes the Rumble a perfect place to drop back in. RP Bray Wyatt. Uh, Bray Wyatt. RP Bray Wyatt. All eyes are on you and the buzz created can be huge since everyone's watching. You can stop watching for several years, turn on the latest rumble and still see talent you recognize and love. Yes, he's still in there. <laughs> Time to get aboard the whole train. <laughs> Even the most genuine uh, fans back in for the Royal Rumble. If nothing else, then to see some legends evolve. But with this match type, you'll get that and so much more. Now they don't want her nowhere near the WWE. Pretty much sells itself, but that doesn't mean we haven't seen plenty of memorable feuds going into the match. You can feel the disdain. The goal of winning the Rumble is an easy story to tell given the stakes, not to mention the amount of star power involved every year. In the year 2000, Big Show and The Rock were the clear favorites going in. The main crooks of the feud centered around Show being offended about being called a jabroni. 29 other jabronis. One by one by damn one. This armed the big <laughs> one with even more tremendous promo material, enraging Big Show so much that we couldn't wait to see the two face off at the pay-per-view. Then the subsequent story that played out following the events of the Rumble was even better. We'll touch on that later. You are a short-haired, seven feet, 500 pound piece of steaming, stinking, great A monkey crap. 2002 marked Triple H's <laughs> long-awaited comeback from injury. The game was a man possessed upon returning, with one aim of winning the Royal Rumble and going on to WrestleMania. Kurt Angle, Undertaker, and Stone Cold were the main obstacles in his way. This led to a great build-up on TV in the weeks prior to the Rumble. <laughs> Hey yo! Uh, Triple H is coming back to win the Royal Rumble, and I said, "Ah ah!" There's the Undertaker chair. Thirty men who all want the same thing to win the Rumble match. In 2010, Shawn Michaels lost to the Undertaker at WrestleMania 25 and consumed him. I need this. I want my shot at him. I want my shot to end the streak. Sean could not rest without avenging this defeat. He simply had to win the Rumble because that meant he could challenge world champion Taker at WrestleMania and end the streak. Your streak, your title, your soul will be mine. Batista! Oh, I felt so bad for Sean. I felt so bad. Oh, but it was the beginning of the end. This means we're guaranteed to see all different types of styles. And they step us in the most intense of ways. Peter <laughs> to see wrestlers face off with opponents, they wouldn't tip Oh, yeah, Drew Carey was in the Royal Rumble. He's got Andre. Andre just eliminated himself. Sure, the stakes are high. Anyone can win, but it's still fun to see a more lighthearted side to the Rumble. So let's hey, yo. take a look hey, at the Rumble's most hilarious match. Hey, yo. That's what you said. Get over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop to feed me. My style's like a swollen penis. You can't beat me. 
Hey yo, hey yo. Hey yo, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that was legendary. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Hey yo. Oh, I wanted Santino to win so bad. You wanted Santino to win so bad. Oh yeah, our true hoof the goat. Our truth the goat. <laughs> oh my god. MVP. The We're sticking with a comedic tone to highlight the men on the headset. It isn't just the talent in the ring that makes for a fun rumble. The announcer's role in telling the story is crucial. Find humor in the misfortunes of others. Don't you off. Selectively, yes. <laughs> and there goes X now. And he hung on. Only one foot has hit the floor. Two months hit the floor. Damn. You idiot. The author ego of Mick Foley can be colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. That big old sticky grizzly bear. <laughs> Hey, JR did not give a fuck. Miss Agra. Watch your mouth, Michael Cole. Bobby Heenan rooting for Ric Flair in 1992 is probably the best example. The brain put in a hell of a performance on commentary. Weasel your way out. I never thought I'd say that. But weasel your way out if you have to. Weasel your way out. It almost felt like he was in the match helping the nature boy to victory. If he wins this, I'll never say or do anything bad again. Jerry Lawler has also been a highlight at the desk. It was hilarious hearing King constantly change his pick depending on how the match was going, only to claim he was right all along. I picked Shawn Michaels, didn't I? No, I didn't pick Shawn Michaels. He's still my pick. He's my new pick. My prediction is true. Boss man is my pick. There's my pick right there. Yeah, I'm picking Kane. I told you I'm picking the big show. I knew The Rock would win. My pick. Now we'll look at some entries in the Rumble match we didn't expect to see. These are considered more of a surprise than a return. Yeah, Since Bad Bunny was, wrestlers, bad buddy was definitely a, diff a different. Oh my God, what is that? Wait a minute. Is it? Yeah, AJ Styles' debuting at the Royal Rumble was crazy, bro. That was crazy to see him, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, no way. <laughs> Nevertheless, we probably weren't expecting to see any of these entries appear in the Rumble. In the Royal Rumble, the ground is essentially lava. It doesn't matter how you go over the top rope. All that matters is if both feet hit the floor below. Here we go! Oh, there we go! Oh, no! Through the table! Jado, you gotta be kidding me! Put him down! Put him no! down! Oh, Damn! Oh, my God! This means it takes a lot less to defeat someone in this match compared to a traditional one-on-one -on -one encounter. Damn! Laying in the weeds here. Oh, damn! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> in the regular bout, it might only take three seconds to get the job done. In the rumble, an oh my god, awesome calm. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Two seconds. <laughs> Oh, ah, uh, boo. What? And now Sheamus hits his own, eliminated all three members of the new day. Man, oh, man. All it takes is one mistake or lapse in concentration. So R.P. to China. The competitors in this match were guaranteed to see unexpected and shocking eliminations. Here's Brown, Here comes the <gasps> Damn. Damn. 
RP to uh, Macho Man. Maven. That was a crazy elimination. That was a crazy elimination. That was a crazy way to. That was a crazy way to eliminate Brock. With so many combustible elements, my black brother. A larger wrestler might think they have an advantage, but the bigger they are, the greater the target on their back. Ain't no fucking way. Sits the fuck out of here. Damn, Undertaker, damn, really? D damn! Barely get him over. John Cena did an F5. Hey. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the smaller wrestlers, it can be a long and painful ride to the floor. <laughs> De oh, oh, damn. R.I.P. to Owen Hart. We, we, damn. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. Damn. <laughs> in this match, all types of alliances are purely temporary. There are no friends in the Rumble, only foes. Remember, it's every man for yourself here. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. As we've seen, wrestlers like to get creative when it comes to throwing their opponents out, but perhaps the most creative spots in the Rumble are born from trying to stay in the ring, or rather, simply making sure both feet stay off the floor. This is far easier said than done, of course, especially given the lengths some have gone to in order to stay alive. That was, that was amazing. But Kofi Kicks' spots are crazy, though. Kofi Kicks' spots was crazy. But if we're talking rumble saves, then Kofi Kingston takes yeah, the cake. Yeah, Kofi, Kofi say, Kofi Spots is crazy, bro. Oh my God, dangerous oh, oh, my God. See, Kofi Spots is crazy, bro. Oh no. Ah, that was. Kofi then went on a run of failing to stay in the match, just when it looked like he was going to pull something crazy out of the bag again. Over in the women's rumble, Naomi has also displayed great ingenuity to evade elimination. They said Naomi coming back. Yeah. Damn. Jimmy Uso is lucky. You a lucky, lucky man. Not everything goes to plan in the Rumble. Jimmy Uso. Hey, Jimmy, a lucky dude, bro. I'm just saying, Jimmy. Jimmy is a lucky dude. Damn. Botched eliminations. Choose to face you at WrestleMania. That would be a very bad idea. And things that weren't supposed to happen. Savage with a hard knee kick is out of there. Savage is on top. But stuff like this only adds to the drama. There I go. There's a spin on the floor. Whoa. The 2005 event is one of the most memorable because of everything that went wrong during the final sequence. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By Vince McMahon, they fucked the up. Chairman, they but... actually fucked up the botch, and Vince came out there mad. This nigga tore his fucking quads, bro. That shit. Bro, this is got to be the most hilarious shit ever, bro. They actually botched the indie. This man runs out there. Tears his quads because he, he's so fucking upset. He tears his quads. He was that fucking. He's like, you fucking up the goddamn show. You stupid motherfucker. Ah, 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 my quad. Ah, my knee, my leg.
Help me! <laughs> you two bastards! Restart the damn match and do the fucking finish right! Shit! We told you fuckers to finish! Do it right! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Both his quads. That shit is crazy. Ah, my leg! Angry, uh, and generally speaking, you know, I do some stupid things when I'm angry. I ripped both quad muscles, um, tore them completely into. Finally, we'll touch on the most important aspect of the Royal Rumble. Winning the Rumble means a clear path on the road to WrestleMania, a chance to main event the show of shows, and challenge for the World Championship. Victory in the 30 man match has cemented countless wrestlers as stars. Brock Lesnar! And that's because of the odds of capturing gold at Mania are in the victor's <sighs> favor. Set over the top! Charlotte Claire! Charlotte Claire put him in! Becky Lynch is going to WrestleMania! Historically, over half the Rumble winners go on to win the title at WrestleMania. Oh, this is great! Oh, oh, Bianca! No, no. My black sister! My black sister! Those match-winning moments live forever. Yeah! Damn! It doesn't just set you up on the road to WrestleMania. Winning the Royal Rumble unlocks a path to immortality. Why would you do a pinfall? No! Ah. The greatest Royal Rumble I ever, I ever experienced. The greatest Royal Rumble I ever experienced. Yep, Randy Orton. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure RP to check out the 10 wrestlers who returned. RRP Eddie. I lie, I cheat, I steal. I lie, I cheat, I steal. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, go back, man. We are, go, go back, go back. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Go back for me, my brother. Go back to that last video. Keep it right there. <laughs> But nah, man, that's just going to about do it for this one, man. The Royal Rumble is definitely a, a, a classic event. Hopefully this Saturday we get another classic event with the Royal Rumble. Definitely will be watching. I probably might live stream. I don't know. I'm going to be competing with a lot of WWE guys, but it is what it is. Um, I might live stream this weekend. I don't know. My schedule, my work schedule done changed up now, so... It is what it is, but my work schedule done changed up now. I ain't got to work on weekends no more. So, yeah, we'll see, man. But anyway, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out. Once, so, is this on? The fuck?